Chinese President Xi Jinping expressed strong opposition to protectionism and reaffirmed China's support for free trade at the opening ceremony of the Boao Forum. That commitment to globalization is a sentiment shared by many companies here. The lower uh, trade barriers are, the more companies trade, the better off everybody is, companies and citizens. For the past decade, China continued to pivot from trade-propelled growth towards domestic consumption. Chinese officials have downplayed the impact of the proposed U.S. tariffs on China and maintained the country's growth rate projection. The Chinese economy is opening up. Structural reform continues. I mean, President Xi Jinping's made that clear. Um, obviously, um, there's a lot of debate about some of the, 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 the trade issues at the moment, but I think the long-term trajectory, I think, I see is still being very positive. And China's role in the world, I think, is still very positive. According to the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis, from 2010 to 2015, the Chinese market made up a third of all sales revenue growth for U.S. companies' overseas branches. For those American firms that have deep roots in China, a good economic relationship between China and the U.S. is important. Trade is all about globalization. I haven't seen anybody can fix a trade problem through a disputes, through a trade war. So we would definitely, as a business, would like look forward to see how we can uh, mitigate that and find a, way, find a way out. In one of the discussion sessions on Tuesday, participants talked about the structural challenges to the U.S. economy. Some say protectionism measures cannot fix the USA's problems. It's the wrong prescription for the economy's chronic symptoms. The problem behind USA's trade deficit is actually its economic structure. The society's consumption is too high and there isn't enough savings. The result is that you have to import more goods than you export. If this structure isn't changed, there will still be deficits in the next 30 years. The consensus among Boao participants is that rationality should prevail and a trade war could be avoided. Because when it comes to a trade war, there is no winner. Yang Chengxi, CGTN, Boao, Hainan Province.